Guys, when you're tied up in the clinch, uh, building a frame can really save you, it, and you can do a lot of stuff with it. So Thomas is a lot stronger than I am. He's a lot bigger. When he pulls this clinch on me and he starts getting me tied up, I can't always clear that hook. So what I want to do is I take this hand and I start framing his neck. Once I frame, I can kind of I can control his position a little bit, and I stop him from advancing. Little note: I don't want to get into a lot of detail about the frame on this video, but if you collapse this hand and allow him to come in like this, the frame is useless. So you need this kind of rounded shape here as, he, as he's pressing against you. Once I'm here, what I want to do is I'm going to pump a little bit, just give him a little pulse. And when I do, I rotate over to the hook and I'm going to throw a wicked knee. Boom. So I give him a pluck right into my knee. Again, we're here. We're tied up. I slip this under, frame him. I pulse and then pluck and pull. Guys, another framing setup. This is nice, it goes pointed star and then we're gonna do a bit of a hip toss. So I'm in here, I'm in the clinch again and tied up. I can't clear this hook, so I frame him. This gives me a little bit of space here. And it, it uh, neutralizes his hooking, but I still have to watch for this hand. He goes to throw his punch, I'm gonna slip underneath. Go uh, slower. Mm -hmm. So when I go, I slip. But this hand over here, remember, is still outside. So at the same time, I slip this inside when I duck, and then I come up and go over the shoulder here. He's taller than me, so my chances of finishing this with a standing arm triangle are very minimal, unless he's asleep. <clears throat> the idea is to put him to sleep, not that he's already asleep. So we're gonna go here, and when I come in, I frame, I see him move, I cut underneath, I go here. Yeah, he is freaking heavy. <laughs> <laughs> if you like our videos, hit that subscribe button down below and get hooked.